Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. I hope you're safe and sound, all of you. We are officially in the last class of the week. Yay! <laughs> all right. Now you're going to rest four days. Van a descansar cuatro días. Y bien merecido lo tienen porque solamente los que tengo ahorita no me han fallado ninguna clase y los felicito, all right? Se nota su deseo de poder aprender el idioma y de desarrollarlo muy bien. Van a tener cuatro días de descanso. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Yay! Claro, la otra semana nos va a tocar el corrido, ¿verdad? Desde Tuesday hasta Friday. But that would be great. Pero creo que no va a haber ningún problema con eso, right? Pues ya vamos a estar descansaditos. So, what do you do, class 8? Today we're going to work on the midterm exam. Este día vamos a trabajar en el examen intermedio. ¿Ok? So, como tenemos también contenido en la plataforma, lo vamos a trabajar. Tenemos bastante tiempo. So, let's put your hands up, all right? So let's go. Placement of adjectives. Yesterday we were watching these sentences and these structures. Ayer estuvimos viendo estas estructuras y las oraciones. Sin embargo, aquí lo tengo ya dividido, right? Eh, aquí está la image que aparece en el video, pero yo lo tengo dividido. Y la primera estructura que tenemos, la guiding structure, es la de B. Perdón, la de adjective plus B. Esta es la primera estructura que tenemos a la vista. ¿okay? We have Guadalupe, read the structure, please. Léame la estructura, por favor. Guiding structure equal adjective plus B. Uh -huh. Article A or M plus profession plus apostrophes S plus verb to be plus adjective. Thank you so much. We have some adjectives over here. Let me listen to Oscar, please. Tell me these adjectives. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, distressful. Very good, thank you. Entonces tenemos aburrido, sencillo, peligroso, emocionante, eh, difícil y estresante. All right. Now, with this, we can work. Copiemos esta estructura, por favor, en el cuaderno. Everyone should have it. Todos tienen que tenerla, ¿ok? In this structure, there is nothing that you haven't used before. En esta estructura no tenemos nada que ustedes no hayan utilizado antes, ¿ok? Sea que lo haya utilizado en estructuras distintas o solo como vocabulario, ustedes ya lo conocen. For example, the articles A or N. ¿Se recuerdan los artículos indefinidos A or N? Yo les explicaba hace como dos clases, right? ¿Cuándo íbamos a utilizar A or N? Las professions ya las estudiaron. Police officer, cashier, doctor, flight attendant. Apostrophe S. ¿De dónde surge ese apóstrofe S? ¿Para qué lo utilizo? Porque plural no es. Possessive. Yes, perfect. Miss Cruz. Mrs. López. <laughs> All right. Usted es Mrs. Ya vi que ahí tiene el D. Mrs. López. All right. That's correct. Uh, is the possessive adjective. <coughs> Then we have the verb to be. Luego uh, ponemos el verb to be, que es algo que ustedes conocen since level one. And finally, the adjective. Teacher, ¿y solo esos seis adjectives podemos utilizar? No, you have a lot of adjectives. Tienen bastantes adjectives, all right? Sin embargo, esos son como los adjetivos que se utilizan cuando estamos hablando de trabajos, right? Or professions. Pero hay más, all right? Without being said, habiendo dicho eso, let's move on to the guiding examples. Let me listen to Wendy Lopez, please. Number one and number two. Your microphone. 
A lawyer's job is hard. A waiter, waiter's job is difficult. Very good, that's correct, all right? Entonces, aquí estamos describiendo el trabajo de la persona, right? We have the profession, tenemos la profesión, pero quien estamos describiendo en realidad es el trabajo, okay? So, that's true. A lawyer's job is not easy. No es sencillo el trabajo de un abogado. And the waitress job is difficult because you have to work with a lot of people. Y el ser un mesero es difícil porque tiene que trabajar con bastantes personas, right? So, let's check. Let's move on to the following. Practice time. Let me listen to Wendy Arevalo. Please read the instructions. Practice time. Number one, work individuality. Number two, create two sentences using the structure B plus object. Number three, ask quest question if neither. All right, repeat after me, adjective. Adjective. Yes, very good, thank you, right? Let's work on it, please. <coughs> Trabajemos en eso todos. Una o dos oraciones con lo que usted se sienta cómodo y sencillo de hacer, ¿ok? Utilizando adjective plus B. Ahorita solo esta estructura. Miss, no escuché. ¿Cómo dijo? You're going to create one sentence or two sentences. Una o dos, depende de usted. Con la estructura del B plus adjective, que es la estructura que acabamos de ver. Ok, gracias. Welcome. Okay, let's get started. Let me have a um, Jancy de Odanes. Let me listen to your examples. Todavía no he terminado, Miss. Mm, okay, let's work a bit faster, right? Thank you, Jancy. Mm -hmm. Let's go with me okay. again. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Pilot's job is stress. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. A pilot's job is delicate 
and precise. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Only one sentence, man. And another is uh, Dr. Jab is uh, good. All right, excellent. Thank you. Delicate mm. and precise. Very good adjectives. Okay. Let's okay. listen to <coughs> Cindy, Carolina. And after Cindy, uh, Oscar Otoniel. A cashier's job is exciting. Mm -hmm. A pilot's job is exciting. Very good, thank you. Action, Oscar. A police officer's job is dangerous. A pilot job is very exciting. <laughs> All right, very good, <laughs> excellent. Veo yeah. que aquí hay una afición por los pilots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eh, y los felicito hasta ahorita los que van porque he mencionado esa S correcta del apóstrofe. Adriana Burgos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, a, doc a doctor's job is stressful. A nurse's job is exciting. A nurse's. Nurses. Okay. Yes. A job. nurse's job is exciting. Yes, very good. Thank you. De hecho, saben que sí. He visto que, bueno, no sé cómo será aquí en, Estados, aquí en El Salvador, pero en Estados Unidos sí he visto que tienen como un trabajo bien emocionante las enfermeras, sobre todo las que son enfermeras privadas. All right, so they have a pretty good job and they earn a lot. So let's go with uh, Sonia. Let me listen to your sentences. After Sonia, Andrea Flores. A doctor job is is very hard. A lawyer's job is need to read. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Andrea? A police, a police office job is dangerous. Officer, a a police a officers. Office. A police officer job is dangerous. An electrician's job is difficult. Very good, thank you. Let me just check something from here. Okay, let's go with uh, Alison and Stephanie. Let me listen to your sentences. A doctor's job is difficult. A lawyer's job is exciting. All right, excellent, thank you. Es, todo el mundo me está hablando de doctors y pilots y que hay de, bueno, Cindy habló del cashier, <coughs> que hay de los singers, eh, judge, a judges. Bueno, que esa es más difícil de pronunciar, ¿verdad? Judges. Vamos a ver a Paula, después de Paula Guadalupe. Ok, um, a teacher's job is exhausting. A doctor's job is very difficult. A secretary job is very stressful. Thank you, very good job. Let's listen to Guadalupe. Okay. A security guard's job is dangerous. A judge's job is boring. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm, yeah, we can say, yeah, it's boring. Thank you, Guadalupe. Very good. Last noun. All right. Pasemos a la siguiente estructura. Los felicito a todos. Muy buena pronunciación que han desarrollado ahorita. Let's go with guiding structure, adjectives plus noun. Vamos a pedirle a Mayra que me lea la estructura, please. Article A or N. Article A and N. Plus profession plus has. Plus article. Article, plus am or and. Am, am for am, plus adjective, plus noun. Excellent, thank you. El noun que vamos a estar utilizando va a ser job, all right, para hacerle un poco más sencillo el, el trabajo. Pero usted puede utilizar otro noun si lo desea. <coughs> all right, eh, puede utilizar work, puede utilizar eh, street, whatever noun that you want. So let's check. Let's copy this structure on your notebooks, please. Copiemos esta estructura en sus cuadernos, por favor.
let's move on with the guiding examples. Uh, let's listen to Sonia Martinez, please. Example one and two. Number one, a police officer has a dangerous job. Number two, an artist has an interesting job. That's correct, very good, all right? Notice that in here, aquí tendría que ser un poco más sencillo porque ya lo tenemos en la apostrofe S, ¿verdad? Ya no nos preocupamos por, por cómo va a sonar esa palabra, ese noun, porque solo tenemos el, la profession. So, uh, let's move on to the guiding structures. Guadalupe, do me the honors, please. Let's practice. Let's practice. Work individually. Number one. Number two, create at least two sentences using adjective plus noun. And number three, share your sentences with the class. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Two sentences. Well, you see, if you want to create only one, that would be great. Si quieren crear una, está bien. Si quieren crear dos, está bien también. No problem whatsoever. Let's work on it, please. Finished? Let's get started. Let's listen to Miguel, please. <coughs> okay, teacher. A musician has a thrilling job. Mm -hmm. A thrilling job, yes. Okay. And another uh, statement is uh, an actor has an enviable job. All right, excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Very good. Está muy bien que usted busque otros adjectives también. Excelente. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with Paula. Let's listen to Paula. Uh, 
Yo, teacher. Yes. So, ok. Eh, toda la oración. La que usted hizo, sí, las dos, Paulita. Vaya, este, a lawyer job is complicated. A lawyer has a co complicated job. All right. A lawyer's job is complicated. Complicator. Pero, ¿por qué me utilizó is en esa? Si las dos eran con has. Uh, no, hice la primera oración y la segunda juntas. Together, ajá. Y esa solo es una sola. La primera y la segunda es juntas. Una sola. Es, una sola. Ajá. Ajá. es que tiene contexto entonces su oración. Ajá. Alright, continue with the second one. Okay, solo esa tiene. Very good. Okay, okay. Esta es otra. Uh, a fighter, firefighter job is a missing. A fighter, fighter has an amazing job. Repeat, amazing. Amazing. Yes, very good, Paulita. Correct. Muy bien. The lab que utilizo. Let's go with Cindy. After Cindy, Oscar. First, a secretary has a stressful job. Uh, second, an accountant has a difficult job. Very good, Cindy. Excellent. Thank you. Otoniel? An engineer has a hard job. Mm -hmm. A singer has an enthusiastic job. Enthusiastic, yeah. They got a smile every time, right? Tienen que estar sonriendo yeah. toda la vida. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Alison Juarez. Um, Lager has a exciting job. A chef has a difficult job. Very good. A chef has a difficult job. Sonia Martinez, please. A singer has a wonderful job. An architect has a creative job. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores, please. Okay. An engineer has a complicated job. An artist has an easy job. Are you sure? Okay, very good. Thank you, Andy. Let's go with Wendy Arevalo and after Wendy Arevalo, Guadalupe. Okay, Guadalupe action. A chef has an important job. A singer has an easy job. Yes, that's true. Very good, thank you. Adriana Burgos, please. Yes, um, a lawyer has an exciting job. Only one? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Don't worry. Mayra, please. A security guard, guard, perdón, a security guard has a difficult job. A singer has a exciting job. Bravo, Mayrita. Perfect. Thank you. Now, everyone, congrats. Los felicito. Veo que ambas estructuras las manejan, all right? Y lo mismo al hablar. Ustedes podrían pensar... Ay, teacher, pero solo haciendo oraciones. Y cuando hablamos, ¿qué decimos? Sentences, all right? We even stop. Y a veces, o sea, ya tenemos tan programados, somos como una computadora, all right? We have everything under control. Tratamos de tener todo bajo control. Y ya tenemos programado en nuestra mente hasta dónde va la coma cuando estamos hablando. Te quería decir que, en realidad, yo he estado pensando mucho en lo que tú me dijiste. Right? We stop every time. Paramos porque automáticamente we know that we need that coma. Sabemos que necesitamos esa coma para darle realza a las cosas o cambiar de idea, right? Well, we don't change the idea. We continue with the same idea. All right? So there you go. It's the same thing. Aprendiendo a hacer sentences, usted aprende también a hablar. So let's move on to the platform. Nos movemos a la plataforma. <laughs> Nos vamos a un video, el último video que tiene en esta section which is 
reading job profiles. All right, let's listen to it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. <laughs> Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Very good. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let's check. Um, let me make it bigger. Okay, so we have two jobs. Actress. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Let's listen to Wendy Lopez, please, actress. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she is tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Excellent, thank you. Video game tester. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Let's listen to Jancy Deodanes, please. Love, love, lots of teenagers want John Blue. Job. He plays video games for eight hours. A day and he gets paid for it. John is video game tester for a big video game company. It is ever bo boring. Never la pregunta, John... please? It is ever boring. It is. No, it no. is. Are you sure? Is it ever boring? Eso está correcto. Never. John almost always wins. That's correct. Thank you so much, Jancy. Very good. Now, let's go to the following. Dog Walker. Becky Peck, always, no, Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Oscar, please, Oscar Otonier. Becky Pet works in the park every day for many hours, right or chain. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park 
at one time. Excellent. Thank you. Oscar, repeat after me. Walks. Walks. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. No se pronuncia la L. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. Teacher. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Esta palabra no se pronuncia busy. Es busy. Busy. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary <coughs> isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his students like his class, so he's happy. Let's listen to Victor Ramos, please. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans a lesson. Grace homework helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches his salary isn't great, but that's okay. He's a student like his class, so he's happy. Excellent, thank you. Well, my dear students, with this, we finish uh, the platform um, section three, right? Con esto finalizamos la plataforma la sección 3, pero nos vamos al midterm exam. Ok. We're going to work with it. Paso a preguntar, ¿quiénes ya finalizaron la plataforma y el midterm exam? Muy bien, levanten la manita virtual, please, así como Víctor. A ver, ¿quiénes? Ok, entonces tenemos a Víctor Ovidio. A Cindy, a Miguel, Mayra, Guadalupe, Wendy, Wendy, dos, <ríe> Andrea, Paula y Alison, Miss Burgos también y Oscar. Perfect, everyone, congrats. Los felicito, excelente, qué buen trabajo, right? Ahora bien, nos vamos a hacer el midterm solo porque eh, pues ya la mayoría de ustedes lo terminó, pero quiero corroborar cómo lo trabajaron, si saben en realidad qué estuvieron poniendo, right? So let's check. Vamos a pedirle a Guadalupe que nos lea las instructions. Complete. Complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the verb. Select the option that contains the words uh, to complete the question and answer. That's correct. Thank you. Right. Uh, we are using the simple present. Vamos a utilizar el simple present. Solo aclarando algo, la parte A de listening no la voy a hacer con ustedes por, por mi ética, all right? Que yo no quiero practicar con ustedes el listening porque es el único listening que ustedes tienen en la plataforma. Entonces siento que si lo practicamos juntos, le estoy dando las respuestas al mismo tiempo, and it is not worth it, no tendría valor. Quiero que ustedes lo practiquen por ustedes mismos, ¿ok? It's, it's the only listening that we have in there. So let's move on in here. Uh, do you live alone? No, I don't. Conversation one. Cindy, option one, two, or three? Two. Lea la completa, por favor. Does your apartment building have an elevator? Thank you. Mayra, one, two, three, or four? Note que iniciamos la pregunta con does, por ende la respuesta. One. Yes, it does. Thank you. Conversation two. Adriana Burgos, please. Do la two, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, two. Okay. ¿Qué opción escoge? One, two, or three. <coughs> two. Okay. Lea la completa. Do the bedrooms have closet? Thank you. Eh, vamos a pedirle a Wendy Arevalo. No, they. Number four. Yes. Oh, number four. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Not they don't. Bravo, very good job, excellent, thank you. 
Now, me gusta mucho, porque usualmente en esta parte donde eh, las personas se tienden a, a buguear, como dicen los jóvenes ahora, ¿verdad? A buguear, que significa que se les congela el cerebro, right eh, En esta parte, porque tenemos bedrooms, y entonces la, lo primero que piensan, ah, como para los objetos se utiliza el it, entonces tiene que ser does, porque con el it va el does, la tercera persona. Se le olvida que el it se utiliza solo en singular. Y aquí bedrooms está en plural. Entonces sí está correcto que lo pongan do, all right? Porque ya es plural, ya deja de ser singular. Very good job, excellent. Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences. Write each sentence in the correct order. Let's listen to Guadalupe. What do you have for number one? There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Okay, very good. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Number two, Jancy de Odanes. Hello, Johnson. Okay, Miguel, number two, please. Mm, there are no pictures in the hall. I right, thank you. And number three, Paula. Hi. Yes, there are there are not any curtains in the dining room. There aren't any curtains in the dining dining room. Thank you, Paula. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Bravo, excellent. The three were correct. Las tres están correctas, all right? Solo que, eh, acuérdense, si utilizan el aren't, no necesitan poner otro, post, otro negativo. No podemos decir, there aren't no any curtains. Ahí me están poniendo tres negativos, ¿ok? That's not even possible. So here we go to the next one. Select the correct words. Oscar Otoniel, number one. And your words in a hospital. Thank you. Mayra, number two. A receptionist told to people at hot, uh, hotel. Very good. Um, Alison Stephanie Juarez, number three. I just sit all day. Let's check. Bravo, very good, excellent. Once again, congrats. Una vez más, los felicito, excelente. Qué bueno, ojalá que todos hayan salido súper bien en el midterm, right? Porque este vale bastante. Eh, y, select questions to complete the conversations. It says, look at the example. <coughs> What do they do? They are nurses. Entonces, ya nos están dando la respuesta. Ahora usted va a seleccionar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Vamos a pedirle a Víctor, number one. Where do you work? Thank you. Andrea, number two. What does he do? He do perdón. Thank you. Miguel, number three. How do they like their, their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Very good. Excellent. Awesome. Amazing. Marvelous. Todos los adjectives bonitos que les pueda dar. All right, very good. Let's move on. Y yo dije, ay, no, nos vamos a tardar un montón en el midterm. <laughs> y vamos a, vamos a terminar antes de tiempo. Let's listen to, uh, let's go with instructions. Complete the conversations, select the correct be or have in each case. A receptionist has a relaxing job. I agree. And I think a receptionist's job is safe. Eh, Guadalupe, A, conversation 1A. A. 
A singer has an exciting uh, job. Thank you. Wendy Lopez. V. I disagree. Usted no está de acuerdo, Wendy. Wendy López. I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. Thank you. Uh, Cindy, a flight attendant. A flight attendant has a stressful job. Thank you. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda. I agree. Usted sí está de acuerdo. I agree. It's stressful. Thank you. Um, Mayra, a cashier's job. Is AC. Okay, thank you. Uh, Adriana Burgos, I disagree. A cashier. That's a difficult job. Let's check. Congrats, everyone. Ooh, number one is wrong. All right, number one is wrong. Let's check. Vamos a ver. Eh, creo que esa le tocaba a Guadalupe, right? Veamos, Guadalupe. Yeah. A, a singer has an exciting job. All right, very good. Very good, thank you. Sí, debe de ser. This is the way, right? Thank you, very good. That's correct, my dear students. Congrats and applause for you, bravo, right? Um, I don't know what else to say, you were pretty perfect. Estuvieron muy bien en la practice, han estado muy bien en la práctica, de hecho, y pues han finalizado su midterm exam, ¿verdad? Me gustaría poder decirles, vaya ahora a mimir, pero no. All right, you won't right now. Todavía no. Tienen que trabajar en la section four, ya sea mañana, que tengan libre, o el sábado. But start working, pero inician a trabajar, porque eso cuenta un montón. Ahorita vamos a volver a la PowerPoint y vamos a pasar a los demás compañeros que no habían leído, ¿ok? Para la practice, porque también tengo otra practice con el simple present. So let's check. Uh, let's have... Cindy Carolina, actress, please. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works she works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Very good rhythm. Let's go with Miguel. Video game tester. Okay. Lots of teenagers want job. John Blue's job. He plays video game for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Let's listen to Paula, dog walker. Mm. Becky Pig walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walk walker. She walks dog for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Excellent. Paulita, repeat after me. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, very good. Sometimes. Let's go with um, Andrea Flores. Teacher, Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades, homework, helps with after school activities and of course he teaches his salary isn't great but that's okay his students like his class so he's happy very good job excellent thank you everyone 
Now, let's move on to the following. Nos vamos a lo siguiente, okay? Uh, the simple present. We have different activities in here. Tenemos distintas actividades, all right? Es una practice alejada de la plataforma que yo les pongo aquí. All right, uh, let's work. Solo vamos a trabajar de la 1 a la 10, okay? Let's work it on your notebooks. Trabajémosla en el cuaderno, please. Hasta donde nos dé el tiempo para poder finalizar hasta la 10. Si finalizamos, great. If not, don't worry. Si no, pues no se preocupen. But let's work from number 1 to 10 right now. Take into consideration the auxiliary verbs. Tome en consideración los auxiliares. For when it's negative or when we have a questions.
Okay, how are we doing? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Por qué número andan ahorita? Six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. None of them? Ninguno de esos? Okay. Um, one more minute. En un minuto más e iniciamos a preguntar las que ya hayas final, las que ya hayan finalizado. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let's get started. Let's go with number one. I, Wendy Arevalo. I get up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and, and I not get up at, at 5 a.m. ¿Y su auxiliar? Porque ahí está en negativa, necesita el auxiliar. I, I do. I do not get up at 5 a.m. Thank you, Miss Arevalo. Very good. Let's go with Oscar Otoniel, number two. My father. <clears throat> My father shapes every day. Very good. Shapes. Correcto. Third person singular. Adriana Burgos, number three. Margot, um, doesn't take a shower in the afternoon. Correct. Very good. Number four, Victor. My sister brushes her teeth every day. Very good. Excellent. Number five, Miguel. My parents do not watch TV in the evenings. Exactly. My parents do not or don't watch TV in the evenings. Very good. Number six, Guadalupe. Karina doesn't put makeup at 6.30 every day. Uh, pero esa está en positivo, Guadalupe. No tenemos... I'm sorry. Karina puts on. Yes. Yeah. Karina puts on my cup at six That's correct. Thank you. Uh, let's go with Cindy, number eight. No, perdón, number seven. Flor. Flor watches movies on Saturdays. That's correct. Mayra, eight. My mother. Your microphone, Mike. <clears throat> okay, let's listen to Wendy Lopez, number eight, my mother. 
my mother doesn't make dinner or weekend. Thank you. Uh, let's ask number nine. Uh, Paula, Paula Isabel, nine. Um, there do a study math on Fridays. Okay, escuchemos. Gracias, Paula. Andrea Flores, ¿qué puso usted en la nueve? They studies. They they study, porque no es, plur, no es singular, estamos en plural, right? They study. O sea que vamos a dejar el verbo tal y como está. And the last one, Miguel, please, number 10. My child. All right, maybe we don't have Miguel. Let me go for it. My child takes a bath every day, right? All right, my dear students, that was pretty much it for today's class. Take care and see you on Tuesday. Bye. Take care. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Bye. 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 bye.